Use that intention so that he's really learning how to respond to that punch. Just saw the trailer for the new movie called Upgrade with Logan Marshall Green, and I said, I love that style of fighting. It's the same style that you see in movies like uh, Taken and Jason Bourne, all those movies. It's real simple. It comes from martial arts that we've been practicing for a long time. I wanted to give you three drills today that you can do with a partner that will improve your basic self-defense while learning how to fight like they do in the movies. Kellen's going to help me demonstrate. So the first thing I want you to learn is how to keep your hands up in this position. Now this is called a flinch block. And the idea is that if he goes to punch me in any way, I just naturally flinch and I get behind my hands. That works for so many techniques and it keeps your hands up. If your hands are up when someone tries to punch your face, you're likely to block it. If it's down, even under your chin, you're never gonna be fast enough to get him up in time. The signal doesn't go from your brain to your hands fast enough. So you're gonna start with your hands up in this position and he's gonna feed me or he's gonna give me basic straight punches. My hands are up, he's gonna punch with his back hand and I'm just gonna push it off the center line. So what that looks like is my hand is coming here and it's just clearing my face. As wide as his fist is, just this much. Now your hand is not gonna drop and your hand is not gonna push down. You're simply gonna push here and then it's gonna come back. So he's punching back hand first. I clear that, bring it back, he punches this hand. I clear that, bring it back, punching, punching. And this is your first drill. He's just gonna start pushing these hands in. His goal is not to catch me off guard and break my teeth or bloody my nose. His goal is to help me learn. So he's not gonna try to trick me up at this basic level. And whoever you're working with as partner, make sure that they understand that clearly. And then I'm gonna feed to him, starting with my back hand, my right hand. His hands are up, he's in his flinch block. He's just clearing, clearing, clearing. And now Kellen's done this a lot, so he can go a little bit faster. And get a little bit closer. Good. So just 30 seconds to a minute, you're going to feel it's going to really burn your shoulders out. It's going to feel good. Now the second one, he's going to feed that back hand again first. I get in my flinch block, my left foot's forward, right foot back. You want to make your body smaller. This is like saying, punch me right in the face. This makes you smaller, protects everything, gets you behind the hard bony parts of your arm. Now he's going to punch with this hand and I'm gonna use the same hand for the next block, the back of my hand. He punches with the other hand, and I just push it back the other way. So it looks like this, blocking the right hand. This is my left hand, the front hand, blocking the left hand. Right hand, left, it's that simple. So he punches one, two. One, notice that my right hand is not moving, it stays in the guard. That way, if he throws another punch, a haymaker over the side, and then the other side, my hands are still out, still in my flinch block. He's gonna start punching with his left hand first, and I'm gonna use my right hand, which is my back hand. It's gonna do the same thing. I'm just doing a drill. I'm not fighting. You're not fighting yet. You're conditioning your body. You're learning techniques, and you're always gonna to stick to the principles of self-defense, which are way more important than any techniques. You can learn every technique in the world, and you're always gonna focus on the principles of self-defense to stay safe. I talk about what those principles are in other videos. I'm gonna start with my right hand, he's starting with his left hand, and then I throw the other one, he just front, back, front, back, and again, I can start to move, and as he relaxes into the drill, just using the back of his hand to block, and then he'll use the other hand. I'm gonna now start punching with my left hand, he's gonna block with his right hand, pushing, and just 30 seconds or longer, just until it really starts to burn and then go a little bit longer. And now the third drill, you're gonna use both hands. He's gonna block here and I'm gonna clear with the back of my other hand. So this is his right hand, this is my left hand. The left hand catches the punch or pushes the punch off the center line. The right hand with the wrist turned back just a little bit comes through blocking here and now from this position, you can push this into the body which is a trap and this punch comes right into the face. From here, same thing, one, two, you can push here and then punch with the other hand. So then he's just gonna feed me the punches, one, two, and then this hand punches, and my right hand immediately comes through, he punches with the other hand, one, two, one, two. And again, this is a drill. We're not trying to catch each other off guard, 
and destroy each other in the face. You can do that later once you get really good at it. His turn, his hands are up. I'm gonna start with my right hand, which means he's gonna clear with his left hand. Right square in his face, straight through the middle. He clears, and then my left hand, he's gonna use his right hand. He just brings it, it's already there. And then that hand's already there. Now, even though I don't want you to really try to smash his nose and make it bleed, I do want you to go as far into him as you can, and I want you to go straight, and I want you to have the intention of punching him. Use control if he's not fast enough, but use that intention so that he's really learning how to respond to that punch. Now this is how you use it, and this is what you see in the movies all the time. He throws that punch, I bring it off the center line, I clear it, and then I trap here, and then there's that strike right to the face. This time I have a knife in my hand, I slice all the tendons right there, bring it through, and slice through his neck. I think that might be in the movie. You'll have to watch and find out. It's not out yet.